this I did when I was 16 years old. Uh, I branded myself because, uh, you know, I, 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 I love Jesus very much and I just, I wanted to brand the cross in me and I felt the brand was a little bit more intense than just a tattoo. And at 16 or 15, my mother wouldn't let me get a tattoo anyway. So I ironed a hanger, put it under the iron and then I, I branded it into my skin. And then, uh, yeah, that was, <laughs> a lot of people thought it was crazy, but I, you know, I think it's the same as tattoos. Right? Uh, I think it's less painful than tattoos. So, uh, yeah, I have that. I redid it again during my father's death. And, uh, you know, I don't mind it. My name is Tom DeBlas. I'm a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. I have my own academy in the Jersey Shore area. Living the dream life now, but life wasn't always so easy. I grew up with a father who was addicted to drugs and alcohol. My best friend, my father, had so many struggles that I was able to witness and see. Over the years, it's caused me, you know, to struggle mentally a little bit, and uh, I got I got pretty depressed at one time. And I remember uh, it was in college. I was thinking about thoughts that I shouldn't think about, and I came home and I said to my mother that I needed help. She got me the help that I needed. She actually took me to the hospital. I ended up staying in two days in a place to help me mentally. Uh, they put me on Zoloft actually, and it actually changed my life. You have to match them from the beginning with their intensity, but being smart. So if somebody grabs your, you know, if they go for a collar tie, we can't, in the beginning of the match, we can't accept this and just grab back and get caught up in the push and the pull. Remove it right away, all right? So immediately, Tom will remove it. What I like about this is from here, we can come right in because our partner is going to pop up. As they do, we have our single. For me, it's not going to be dependent on my shoulder. Some people have good grips as well, so if you need to really shrug it through. After that, I pursued my dream of martial arts, became world renowned. Just wrote my first book about overcoming your obstacles and your demons. Life is not easy every day. I still have my struggles, but I just want the world to know that if I can get through it, you can get through it. Especially growing up with a father who is addicted, but is a good man. At the same time, we see the contrast. Some days he's good, some days he's not. And I just want my story to inspire and help as many people as possible.